something has been bothering Sister Zoma Chineke in Ababa. In fact, I feel like crying. Crying for Jesus. When they say that Jesus is coming soon. Ah! It breaks my heart. Wallahi, it's just who's touched Nigeria. If Jesus lake touch Nigeria, only Supreme Court will never. Chai! I'm telling you honestly, they will set tribunal against him. Eh? I make will bring their own lawyers, those law, big, big lawyers with those things, those masks. They're supposed to be for their face, but they're supposed to use those things to cover their face. And they cover their faces. Okay? okay. That's in that, that uh, uh, bush in Qatar that they are wearing on their head. It's supposed to be for their faces. Because those human beings, they're not supposed to exist in, our, in, in this life. Okay. Those Supreme Court lawyers that prefer wearing the, those abada they wear and call it uh, uh, whatsoever. I don't understand. Because those who carry justice don't wear such. They hardly see, see them celebrating those on Qatar and, uh, and uh, abada. I pity Jesus coming soon. I thank God though, Jesus has not passed Nigeria. So if anybody thinks that Jesus coming soon is for Nigeria, I'm sorry, I'm wasting your time. Ask the Sosama Chineke in Ababa. I will tell you the truth. He can never step his foot in Nigeria. Lie, lie, lie. In fact, if he tries his agro agro, your hunger will kill him. So many things will make it impossible for him not to step his foot. If it's for rapture that you're waiting for, rapture has taken place in Nigeria a long time. If, if not for anything, let me tell you, for the past 16 years, rapture has taken place in Nigeria. For the time they said somebody go, he no go, to the time they reappear again, say somebody from the other side come. Eh? To the time suddenly when they are going, they still go from where they say they came from. <laughs> Rapture didn't take place today. So Jesus has already gone to those places to give them other places to give them the revolutions. It is annoying. It is annoying that you wake up in the morning. You, it's as if it's as if you're waiting for you're waiting for your boss in the office to decide your day. That is the situation we we'll find ourselves in Nigeria. Because you cannot decide your day yourself. That is to say, Nigeria is a company. The board of trustees, the CEOs, they decide your day, how you are going to run it. If not, so I am tired though. If you're not tired, continue. So Jesus is coming soon, ends up with you deciding to resign from this particular company. Either you resign or you retire. Let's go back home. You don't belong here. And you will not die put inside this inside this particular company. So if one company does not take you, another company will take you. Hmm? Uh -huh. So this one is a company. Let's go to a country. So think Nina's movement. Think of a better way out of this. It's, it's becoming too big that they can no longer control their company. So let's leave the company and go to a country. Please. That is my message. The message is let us leave this company, Nigeria, and go to our country. Eh? Eh, if you call it Biafra, then it's Biafra. That is where we belong. If we don't know how to manage ourselves, let's start from here to learn how to manage ourselves. You don't need somebody to tell you that. So calling for all this a vote this vote that we are wasting our time as long as i'm concerned you can never vote in a good government in nigeria anymore this company does not need any vote of yours this com this company does not need you to vote for them to be they have chosen the leaders the board of trustees they have set up a well-known organogram for themselves so you're wasting your time let's go to our, a country where we can do something better. Thank you very much. Don't forget to do so much in a